Welcome to B&H Videos. Hi guys, we're here in New York City at the big Leica announcement today. Uh, they announced three very important new developments. We're here with Seal, uh, international performer, and we're also here with uh, Rudy Spiller, the CEO of Leica. Uh, I just have a question. Uh, if, if this is an incredible announcement today with, with what we have, but if Oscar Barnack were here today to see what his company is, is what he's come to, and, and these developments, what do you think he would say? What would his take on this be? Well, that's an interesting question. I would say he's probably just come in and say, they continue my work. I laid out the path, and they're continuing on it. That's, that's amazing. That's beautiful. I mean, from a, a man who put that 35 millimeter piece of film into a compact camera, and what have we seen today is a, a full frame sensor into that very similar design. Seal, what, what's your take on all this? Well, I think it's fan fantastic. To answer your first question, I, th I think he'd be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, I, I think he would, uh, you know, the, the whole concept, first of all, of digital, I think it, it, it would amaze him. The fact that you can actually take a picture and see it immediately on the back of a screen, I think that alone will, 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 uh, will, will knock him out. But um, I think he'd be, overall, I think he'd be really proud. I think it, after he had time to digest exactly what had taken place, <laughs> I think he'd be really proud and, and, and I think... Um, I think he would see it as a kind of fruition of his initial dream. Uh, it's an evolution, an evolutionary step. And what's incredible is that even if, if the 35 millimeter sensor wasn't large enough for you, what's going on with the S2? How, how much larger is the sensor now? Well, it's a factor of uh, 1.3 uh, overall in, in size. But uh, I think the more amazing element is in just talking to a person a few minutes ago, he grabbed out an, an R camera out of his huge bag and we were holding the cameras next to each other and he said I can't believe that this camera is a mid-format camera it's uh, probably just half the size and uh, it's so easy to hold in hand I mean mm. just uh, if you grab that camera first of all you get a little bit shocked because of it looks heavy and you, if you hold it in hand the way either way you turn it it's just safe you feel it's safe in your hand and you feel safe with the with the camera itself um, what it delivers I mean, it's for me. It's like uh, kind of get, getting pressure into my blood. It's like I'm hooked up to an energy pack, and uh, if you wanted to see the energy, you use the camera. You you hear it focusing, and you hear it taking pictures. Uh, I think it already gets the emotion by gathering the information onto the sensor. It's incredible what the guys build it as performance into that camera. And the performance, of course, is not just in this one, it's in the other one, and you're missing out on the third one. So it's, I would say, if performance is related to seal, mm -hmm. uh, if you don't mind, that's overperforming. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, I think you're absolutely right, Rudy. And, and, uh, and another point that I really want to make is that, um, yes, all three cameras are all of, all of the things that Rudy has talked about, but I think the thing that really strikes me most about um, particularly the S2, given what it's capable of and given how, how, how well it handles, is how much it really gets out of your way. And as a photographer, or as an aspiring photographer like myself, <laughs> that's really what I ask for. What I, what, what I want is to be able to see something, to experience something, and to be able to capture that thing without thinking about the camera. And I think that's what Leica managed mm -hmm. to do so mm -hmm. well, yeah. right? To, it, it, it now becomes an extension of your arm. The M8 is like that, the M9 is like mm -hmm. that, the X1 Uncorder. is also like that, which I'm really happy about because that's a camera that my wife is going to completely, <laughs> completely trip over. And of course the S2 is like that. And that to me is, is probably the crowning achievement of this camera it's capable of such incredible performance yet you don't really realize it's there until you need it and I think that is the mark of excellence I'm tired of picking up cameras you know by by, by, by various other manufacturers that are full of like whiz bangs and, and tons and tons of buttons you don't really need that what you need is a is a pristine precise photographic instrument that gets out of your way and enables you to capture the moment, to stop time. Yeah. Capture the moment, that's that's what it's all about. Beautiful, thank you very thank you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy using thank that you. camera too. Thank you, <laughs> thank thank you, you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.